Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on a explaining the different concept of engineering and a programming and a computer science related different concept. So in this tutorial we are going to see about the looping concept of the programming. So let's start our journey. So let's try to understand looping with some of the natural phenomena. So you can see the very half waved sun I have uh, drawn here. So one is uh, look like an, a sunset and one is a sunrise phenomena that we daily observe and uh, it doesn't change even. So after every period of the 24 hours this phenomena is repeating something like a first day sunrise and sunset again the sunrise sunset sunrise sunset so this type of two event daily occurring in a per day on the planet earth so this is one kind of natural phenomena which is occur keep up occurring after every one one day of interval so this is the one of the first example of the looping system you can consider uh, like our solar system also we just keep uh, rotating every planet after every certain interval of time around the sun so there is no change so till creator wants the creator of our universe creator of our solar system wants it will just keep rotating our uh, sun so there is no change and it just goes around the sun in a looping kind of mechanism so this is one or two the natural phenomenon which is occurring in a loop let's try to see one more with our daily routine activity something like uh, we back up we get up and then uh, we take the shower brush and going to school dress and all those kind of phenomena and finally we go to the sleep at the end of the uh, day so the phenomenon like this will keep up occurring daily in our daily activity so this type of things also occurs in a uh, loop so very first day we did actually wake up sour just for example i have listed only five we do actually lot different kind of activity something like i'll back up showering going to school then a playing and a s uh, again going back to school the moment this cycle is finished again the next cycle starts and we again started performing all those activities again so have you observed the out of these two example what is the common thing the common thing is that list of tasks which keep we will keep performing after certain period of time or if the first task uh, first cycle of or the set of tasks in a first cycle finish we immediately went for the again repeating those cycle so this is the kind of phenomena which is called as a looping now we will see about how we can go and perform or we can implement this kind of looping, looping mechanism inside the machine. So let's define some of the uh, looping definition in a formal language. So this is something like a, a set of tasks in a repetition based on some condition or without condition. So uh, you keep performing some set of tasks which keep repeating after certain interval of time. So humans are kind of bored by some kind of repeating task, but computers are very smart. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how this looping mechanism, which keep repeating tasks same way based on some condition or some without any kind of uh, condition, how it just keep repeating those tasks at a numerous speed actually. So let's try to see how we can implement this set of tasks inside the machine so how we can put this looping mechanism in a system so we can go with the hardware way or a software way so if you have seen about a uh, different hardware system uh, inside which the cycles keep repeating something like uh, the harmonic motion of your pendulum in your clock so we just keep repeating so one cycle finish again it just do the another cycle another cycle so it is uh, running in a loop till it has a energy so based on a condition will become something like it just have a energy so we were we are not going to get into much more detail into hardware level implementation of the looping but we'll uh, see about how we can implement in a software
this looping mechanism so majority of this programming uh, language in a software world they are providing the mostly <coughs> minimum this two mechanism for looping system and a while looping system we will not go into detail of this for and while loop mechanism there are many video lecture you will find about that but let's see whatever the two example we have seen earlier uh, to understand the basic mechanism and a concept behind the uh, looping mechanism how we can implement those thing inside this for or the while loop so let's start with a uh, software loop will implement for our solar system or a sunset sunrise example so we'll use this uh, while loop and inside the while loop we have listed the two tasks something like a sunrise sunset and we then increase the one day then here in a green font it has been written the condition till the creator want the moment creator doesn't want the sunrise and sunset on the planet it will just terminate this loop and it will go out so this way the whole mechanism of the looping works in our natural phenomena sunrise sunset increase they increase at least one day in our lifetime then again sunrise sunset increase one day again sunrise sunset increase one day every time we just check that whether till creator wants it to uh, get it happen or not so this is just the dummy condition i have uh, listed there may be any other condition also possible so, uh, let's try to put this uh, another example in the software loop so uh, we have given like a uh, five sample activity we took like a uh, wake up showering school play and then sleep and again increase one day and again we repeat this activity and in this green font i have listed the condition something like a till one die so it doesn't mean that the moment uh, someone starts uh, or someone bonds uh, they started performing all those activity the activity might change based on the different condition or different uh, parameter we pass through this uh, looping mechanism but after the performing this activity again we increase that one day and again this sort of all those activity will be uh, repeating so this way we can implement this uh, natural phenomena or any other kind of phenomena inside the for loop or a while loop with the help of software looping mechanism same way all kind of arithmetic and everything also you can perform with the help of for and while loop that is the basic uh, fundamental blocks of the computer science the moment you find something repeating or some task which is keeps repeating you put it into looping mechanism so your burden or, or a task or your burden will be immediately reduced there are lot many video you will get on a for loop and a while loop uh, you can search around on the internet or uh, you youtube video uh, there is all mechanism they will provide that how you can use a for loop and a while loop but uh, for this lecture my intention was to give you the actual glimpse of what is the looping mechanism how that looping mechanism is working for the arithmetic kind of uh, looping mechanism you want to perform actually on a computer you can go around the youtube and you can find hell lot of video so that's it for this lecture friends uh, i hope you enjoy listening this video please do like comment and subscribe it